Hmm. Hi, humans. You're watching Retro Oblivion. Please subscribe and hit the like button. Come on, do it. Lay it on right here. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right, there we go. I got a Street Fighter 2 Party K. I'm going to go ahead and unwrap it, plug it in, and check out the features. All right, so here's what it comes with. It comes with the manual, comes with the brackets to put it on the wall, and then it comes with the, the plug. And then it's got the little feet right there that you can put on the side for more stability. Okay, guys, so here's the Street Fighter Party Cade. It does have a lighted marquee. Here's the screen, and here is a one-player control deck. And the buttons and joystick is pretty typical and standard of what you would get with an arcade one-up cabinet. We got the on and off, the volume. But right over here, we do have a USB in which you can plug in another controller to get some two-player action on this party cade. And we do have a headphone jack right up here. Pretty nice. Then right over there in the corner, we have the regular Street Fighter II cabinet, Legacy. The art and the design on the sides of this party cade are the same as what you would get on the Arcade 1-Up Legacy cabinet. And that's what the control deck looks like, the design. And we'll walk over here and we'll show you. It's the same exact thing, same design. Now I do got some different buttons on here. That's because this has been modded for a Raspberry Pi. So I do have some different buttons on here. And the joysticks are also different. It's a little bit better. I really can't think of anything negative to say about this Partycade, or any Partycade for that matter. They just seem to make a lot of sense. They're very economical, they're space saving, and you do get the best bang for your buck, especially with the Arcade 1UP Partycades. You're getting the same type of quality as you would with the Arcade 1UP Legacy cabinets. These things are really awesome. There's a reason why I keep buying them. They just work. And they work good. These party cades and counter cades really are not that bad. I know they get a bad rap in the community, but they really are not that bad. They're the same build and same type of quality as the Arcade 1UP regular cabinets. You're just getting a smaller package for a smaller amount of money. I have a ton of these counter cades and I almost have all the party cades and I have never had any issues or any problems. These Street Fighter 2 party cades are currently being offered on eBay and Walmart for 200 and something dollars. You may want to go ahead and check the websites, make sure you're getting the best deal. I picked this one up off of Walmart. It was 200 and some change. I didn't pay that much for it. All right, let's go ahead and switch it on and play some games. And here's the lit marquee right here. And that looks beautiful. Looks really nice. And there is no washout. Look at that. This marquee actually looks a lot better than the Street Fighter II Legacy cabinet. That's a hell of a lot better. All right, let's take a look here. We have Street Fighter II, and we got Street Fighter II Champion Edition, Street Fighter II Turbo, Strider, Captain Commando. That's a really good game. We got Eco Fighters, Puzzle Fighter II Turbo, and Ghosts and Goblins. Really good lineup of games on this party cade for the price. Really good deal. Let's go ahead and check out Captain Commando. Perfect. This is my favorite game.
This is a really good beat em up. Also, this game is not on the regular Street Fighter 2 Legacy Cabinet. This is only on the Partycade. Alright, let's go ahead and check something else out. Okay, let's go ahead and play another game. Alright, we all know what Street Fighter is, and you've probably seen a thousand videos on Street Fighter. Let's go ahead and do Strider. Perfect. This is a pretty good classic. Okay, cool. Alright guys, here's my final thoughts. This Street Fighter 2 Partycade, it's pretty awesome. It's a no-brainer. For 200 something dollars, you can't go wrong. Now it doesn't have as many games as the Street Fighter 2 Legacy cabinet, but I don't care. There's a thousand ways you could play the other games too. 
but this is truly an awesome cabinet and definitely no regrets here. If I ever have any issues down the road, I can definitely mod this thing out, put a Raspberry Pi in there, and I could carry this thing anywhere I go. Let's see you try to carry that thing around. It's going to break your back. All right, guys, if you have any questions or comments, just go ahead and leave them down below. And I will see you on the next video.